want to ask this problem just to make sure that we all understand very well what's happening in, in project, so-called projectile motion when we're throwing something up in the air. If I throw a ball straight up in the air with an initial velocity v naught, like this person is doing, it goes straight up. And at the highest point, what's true for this ball? Give you four choices. One is that both the velocity and the acceleration are zero at this point right here. The second is that the velocity is not zero, but the acceleration is zero. The third is that the acceleration is not zero, but the velocity is zero. And the fourth is the acceleration is not zero and the velocity is not zero. I can tell you right now the correct answer is here is C. In fact, we've used that the velocity is zero at the top of the arc several times over in solving problems. But the thing that's important for us to remember is that the projectile, once it leaves our hand, the only acceleration it feels is that due to gravity, and it's always feeling an acceleration minus g. So c is the correct answer. Now I'm going to guess that there are a few of you who, when reading this problem, was going to choose letter a. You knew correctly that velocity was zero, but because velocity is zero, it was tempting to think that it's also true that acceleration is zero. Those two things are unrelated, and we've seen several cases now where velocities can be positive and acceleration is negative, or vice versa. Here's a case where the acceleration is negative, but the velocity at that moment in time happens to be zero. Remember what the velocity curve looks like. If you were to graph it, You would look at something like that. It starts out as a large positive number, it goes to zero at the top of the arc, and it becomes a, a negative number as it comes back down. But what's the acceleration in this case? It's always a negative number because the slope of this graph is always negative.